Hi, everybody. How are you today? I'm excited about today's message, but I will warn you, it's probably a little longer. It's going to be a little longer than than some of the other ones. So um, if you got a few minutes, a few minutes extra, stay in there. OK, so we have been talking about fear and the, the, the pathway, the method for getting over fear is to simply start taking action, right? Start doing the things of which you are afraid. And that process helps your mindset get over the fear of whatever it is. Um, now, in order to take that first step, in order to first take that first action, what do you need? What, what makes it, what allows your brain to do that? Well, it's courage, okay? Courage is the key. And so what we want to talk about is how do we get the courage, okay? The first thing you need to understand is courage is directly related to desire, all right? So the desire, your desire to accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, whatever that goal is, then your courage will match it, okay? So what we need to do is we need to take our level of desire, our level of desire, and move it above our level of fear. If our level of fear sits here, right, and your level of desire, and again, your courage matches that, comes up to here, which it does for many of us many days, right? Comes right up to here, comes right up to here, and then we can't move it forward, okay? Because we don't yet have, we don't yet have the desire strong enough to move it to here. Once we get it to here, once we get it to here, now the courage level is above the fear level, and we will take action. That's just that's just the way it works, and it's how it's how it happens, okay? So how do we raise our level of desire? Well, I'm going to take you off the hook here. And I'm also going to take away an excuse. Maybe saying to yourself, like I used to say to myself, that somehow desire, desire to achieve, desire to do something, desire to accomplish whatever it was, was somehow unhealthy, all right? Uh, some, maybe sinful, right? Maybe, maybe I would tell myself, hey, you just got to, you're very fortunate, and I am super fortunate, um, have many blessings. You just got to, you know, just be thankful for those things. And uh, what comes, comes, right? Well, what I have realized and what I have been doing is observing other people. And, you know, if that, that fortunate scale is a range, right? And there's, I'm somewhere in the middle and there's people that are less fortunate, people are more fortunate. But the reality is, is if you watch people, some people, not most people, if you watch people, um, these certain people in particular, and you see that whether they have good fortune or you would maybe consider not so good fortune, they're still moving forward. They're still setting goals. They're still achieving. And those people, they're very thankful. They're very, they're very grounded. They're very, um, they're very th like thankful for the blessings that they do have. But they're still moving forward. There's still more they want to do. I truly believe each one of us has been given gifts and blessings and uniqueness that we are to use to make an impact on the world. Right. And once I figured that out and watched these people, it didn't matter how fortunate they already were or were not. And they were moving forward. It was like, bang, mind is open. OK, so there you go. You're off the hook. It's OK to desire. As long as those desires are noble, it's OK to desire to move forward. All right. Here's the excuse. I would tell myself I would get up to that level, let myself get up to that level of fear. And I would say, well, you know, like I said, I. It's probably it's probably not healthy anyway. It's probably not something I should desire, and you know it's it's maybe not so good. All right, so I would use that as an excuse. Well, I'm taking that away again. It's healthy as long as your desires are noble. It's healthy, and that's no excuse, right? Don't let your mind do that to you. Okay, so we've all been given these blessings. We're all unique. Let's use them. Let's move this place forward. Okay, so how do we actually move that level of desire now? Right, I think if you search back in your in your uh, in, into your soul, you'll there's some desires back there that you have that you have allowed to suppress themselves, and this is this is what happens. Right, in order for you to move that desire forward, in order to increase the desire, again we're trying to take our desire and trying to move it above the level of our fear. So you got to focus on it. You got to you got to not be okay with with not achieving whatever that is. You've got to you've got to when you get to the end of the day and you have not done the things that you know you should have done, you cannot be okay with that, right? Now here's the key. When you get to the end of that day and you've had some things on your list that were moving you towards whatever that objective was, whatever that desire was, and you have not done them. It happens. It happens every day, okay? to us, to anybody. 
Now, here's the key. Your mind can go in one of two directions. It can go positive or it can go negative. Now, let's talk about the negative because this is what happens most of the time. How many times have you said this to yourself? I know these things. I've said these things to myself a hundred bajillion times. You get to the end, you haven't done it, and you say, ah, I was busy anyway. I had a lot of things to do today. Or you say, eh, I don't, I don't know if I can do this. I don't, maybe I can't really do this. Maybe I don't really want to do it. Or here's the big one, right? If you're a person of faith, maybe you've said to yourself, hey, maybe God doesn't really want me to do this. How many times have you said those things to yourself? I've said them to myself a bajillions of times, okay? That's allowing the negative, the negative part of your mind to take over. Now, the positive part, right? How do you, how do you, um, what things do you tell yourself in order to keep your mind on a positive? Because the more positive you remain, the more the desire starts to go up, okay? So you get to the end of the day, you haven't done it, and you say to yourself, okay, I realize I didn't do it, but I can do it and I will do it. And it's just a matter of time. Tomorrow, I'm going to be better than I was today. I promise you that. Okay? So that's how you keep your mind on the positive side. And the desire will raise. So another thing about the negative thing, if you, like I said, if you search your soul, there's a bunch of things you probably set life goals or big goals or small goals, whatever, and you've never reached them. Okay? And because what happens is, is if you allow your mind to drift onto the negative side of these thoughts, just pure self-preservation, your mind has got to start suppressing those desires. It has to, right? I mean, could you, I mean, if you get to the end of every day and your, and your desire staying the same and you haven't done what you wanted to do or what you needed to do, I mean, who could live with themselves, right? So just naturally, your desire starts to shrink. Your desire starts to shrink. And then eventually, you know, it probably goes away. So, in order to keep it moving forward, right, again, you focus on the positive and the desire range ratchets up, it ratchets up, it ratchets up, and then, bam, it's here, the courage follows it, now you have the courage to take step one. So that's what I want you to do, okay? Search your soul, find one of those noble desires, one of those goals that you really want to achieve, and start feeding it. Every day, start feeding it. On your list of things to do today, put something down on there that's going to help you move towards that goal, okay? That's the message for today. Thanks for listening. I know it was a little longer than usual. Hey, also, I wanted to, to mention, if you didn't know already, so um, I have a website that all of my past videos and blog uh, entries associated with those videos are. It's johnmaconline.com. That's J-O-N-M-A-C online.com. I apologize. For, you know, it's, I got a ubiquitous name. It's hard to find something reasonably unique. Uh, but anyway, that's what it is. So please go there. Hey, connect with me. Um, would love to hear from you. Leave feedback. Find the ways to connect with me on social media there. I really do want to hear from you because I love learning from people. So have a great day and talk to you later.